Boom, what's up everybody, my name is Kim Scogwell and today I'll be showing you how you can add geotag a location to your photos and meaning that you can get it up on a map a GPS uh, coordinates of your uh, images. So if you have taken it with a camera like these ones I took on a 5D Mark II without any extras so they don't have geo location tagging on them from the camera. So we're going to add that location tagging to it now using Digicam. And I'm going to show you uh, the way I do it. I use Google Earth Pro and I'm also going to show you the way um, you can do it just by using Digicam. Sorry about that. And so if you like this tutorial, please hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, leave your comments down below. I would like to know which way you prefer. and. Uh, I really appreciate your support, so let's just get to it. Cool. So we're inside the computer here now. We can see I have Digicam in the background. We have Google Earth Pro here in the foreground. So we're gonna I'm gonna show you the only Digicam way first, how to add geolocation. See so if I go to filters here on the side. You can see we have geolocation filters. So I'm gonna just images with coordinates. You can see we have no images with coordinates right now. And all the images are without coordinates. So I'm gonna show you on just one image roughly how you can uh, add a geolocation just by using a Digicam. So the first thing you need to do is go up to map here. So hit map. We gotta. You have to zoom out, and I recommend when you're trying to find places, if you're just gonna use this method, is go down to the globe here, add it to Google Maps. It's just gonna scale a lot better and be quicker. So you wanna uh, just scale out. You wanna find where you are. So these were taken in Norway. Ulsborg. Um, They were probably, I'm going to guess, because there's no way to search for it inside here. Um, Fosbach and Spjärkvik. Uh, it's going to be, I'm just going to pick a spot. I'm not going to try and find it. So let's pick this spot around here. So now I recommend you go in over to a marble virtual globe. It's going to change it. And then I recommend you keep it on open street, street map as well. Because you see this little crosshair here? That's where you're going to grab the location from. So now you can zoom in a little bit more if you wanted to, to just fine tune it. Okay, so now all you need to do is right click and copy coordinates. So now you can go back here, just hit thumbnails, and then once you have this image selected or the image you want to tag, you go up to item, edit geolocation. You can also hit control plus shift plus G. And then you mark it, right click and paste coordinates. And now you can see that the coordinates are uh, embedded but they're not really embedded into the image yet because you have to hit apply here first and then you have to hit apply down here as well then you can close it so i'm not gonna do this one just because that's not the right coordinates um i don't want to save the changes so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna mark this first one and if you have several images you just shift click the first and the last so you click the first image you have and then shift click the last image you want to tag. So this will be this. Now you have all these marks. So go back up to item and then edit geolocation or control shift G. It's just going to take a hot second here. We're going to move this out to the side and then mark the top one again. Scroll all the way down to the bottom. And then shift click on the bottom one again. That way you get them all marked. Now I'm going to grab 
uh, Google Earth Pro here, and I drop the pin exactly where the Polar Zoo is or the Polar Park. You can go up here, right click on it when it adds in and go properties, or you can just right click on your pin here and properties. So now you can see you get the latitude and longitude here, but that is degrees, minutes, and seconds. You need it in decimal degrees, which is down here, that I copied them down here. So if you see it like this and not like this, all you need to do to change that is go up here to tools, options, and under show lat long, you hit that decimal degree, hit apply, okay. Then you can go back to your pin, right click, properties, and now you can see it here. So then what you need to do is just copy it. So you copy it in there, latitude first, then you copy the longitude right behind it. You remove the degree sign of both of these, and then you hit a comma to separate them and make sure you don't have any empty spaces up front. So Digicam is going to make these numbers longer. It's just to be more accurate. So they're just going to add a bunch of zeros. So what you need to do now is just mark this like this, the whole string there, right click, copy, or command control C. Go back over here to Digicam, the geolocation editor, right click, paste coordinates. But here you can see it put the uh, latitude or the longitude here is gotten put under latitude and the longitude is being put under latitude. So we got to change this. You can, if you end up with them being switched, just hit remove coordinates, right click, hit remove coordinates. You right click again and paste coordinates swapped. And now you can see we got 69 degrees north and 18 degrees east here. Now, here is the full string, so you can see they added a bunch of zeros here. So now hit apply. Hit apply down here. You're going to see this bar coming up if you have a lot of pictures. When it disappears, you can hit close. And I'm going to close this. So now if we go back here to filters, we can go uh, images without coordinates. You can see there's two movies. And if I now go back here, under this folder, you want to see which images has coordinates. You can see all the images that has it. And you should also be able, if you now go over to the map here, you can see we have 503 images marked on the map. You can also switch it out to be uh, uh, these little pins here as well. And the same thing will happen if you go up to uh, map here. It should automatically populate. So if we, uh, if we zoom out just a little bit here. And then I'm going to add in. There's been some troubles with not linking between. But I'm going to try and add increased thumbnails. That's the wrong way. Okay, so you won't see it on this map here, but you can see it on the map over on your left side. And that is pretty much it. That's how you can very easily and quickly add multiple or add geotags to multiple photos at once. You can do a batch edit. If you like this tutorial, please hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and let me know in the comments down below if this is something you would like to use. Uh, I find it really helpful, and I uh, hope you do too. Uh, see you all next time.